Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Dr. Safdar Sial. I am back to you with a new topic in urology. To you, today we will be discussing hypospadias and epispadias. Hypospadias by definition is a congenital defect of the penis in which the external urinary matrix is abnormally located on the under surface of the penis. Normally, the urinary matrix, external matrix is located at the tip of the glass penis here and in this case it's located here. So this is the under surface or the ventral surface of the penis. So if the external matrix is located somewhere along this line it is called hypospadias. Just few words about the development of urethra. The urethra developed from the urethral groove which developed from the urethrogenital, urogenital sinus. These are the two urethral folds are formed and this urethral groove is enclosed by these urethral folds and it lead to formation of urethra. And these scrotal swelling they uh, develop and lead to formation of scrotum. And this is the, the normal urethra, this is here and the uh, external matrix is at the tip of the glands and this is the hypospadias, this is the external matrix, it should have been here at the tip but it is not there. So it is a distal penile hypospadias or it is a uh, look like uh, I mean glandular type of variety. And this is the severe type of hypospadias. The external matrix normally should be here, here it is here, and in this case it is at the penoscrotal junction. So, this is a severe type of hypospadias. External matrix opens here, and rest of the urethra distal to it is deficient. So, this is the normal genitalia in a kid this is the penis and the scrotum underneath so this is a normally and the glance is surrounded by the prepuce so introduction incidence of hypospadias is 1 into 300 live births primarily three anomalies are associated with the hypospadias abnormal opening on the ventral or under surface of the penis as uh, we have already discussed abnormal ventral curvature of the penis this is like this is a uh, I mean bent dorsally or ventrally <coughs> abnormal distribution of foreskin with a dorsal hood here normally the prepuce is all around the glans penis but here the prepuce is deficient on the ventrum but it is present on the dorsum. So, ventrally it is deficient. These are the three primarily associated uh, anomalies. Diagnosis of hypospadias is by physical examination, first suspected by the ventrally deficient prepuce and confirmed by the proximal external matrix. Here you see if you come across a child with penis like this the uh, prepuce on the ventrum is deficient. So, just think of hy hypospadias, then try to locate the uh, external matrix. Sometimes it is still nosed and hardly visible, like pinpoint external matrix. So, just try it. But from far away, by just uh, I mean, when you are examining the patient, just on a even on inspection, you can suspect that this is a case of hypospadias. When you have confirmed a case of hypospadias, ask for the ultrasound study for the other anomalies. It is said that about in 10 percent of cases of hypospadias, other anomalies are also associated like undescended testes or uh, absent uh, uh, kidney or some anomalies of the bladder. So, classification interior or distal hypospadias, middle hypospadias and posterior hypospadias. Interior or distal hypospadias are uh, 
normally it should be here at the tip but if it is here it is a glenular uh, if, and if it it is just at the level of corona it's called subcoronal coronal or subcoronal and the middle uh, hypospadias is distal mid shaft or proximal penile hypospadias and the posterior or proximal hypospadias there are three varieties penoscrotal scrotal or preneal indication of hypospadia surgery there are primarily two indications functional as well as cosmetic functional when the uh, is when the external matrix is located proximally just exam just look for three these three cases here it is uh, normally placed here it is distal penile and here it is proximal or a penoscrotal junction what would the problems when it is here it is here or here the ventrally located urinary stream like this one normally it should be here but when it's a hypospadias it would uh, i mean the stream would be uh, not that projectile it would be weak and it would fall straight on your feet or your or spring on your thighs and then the metal stone stenosis like this one as we come uh, i mean uh, the normally the external matrix is wide open but if as the urethra recedes backward in hypospadias it becomes stenotic like the this one it is stenotic cowed penis normally it it state but uh, as the hypospadias goes proximally it becomes more and more curved and what are the problems with curved uh, hypospadias mostly the steam abnormal steam and uh, i mean uh, the problems of erection and and ejaculation cosmetic reason the cleft glands normally glands uh, i mean it's not bifid it is not cleft it's uniform so here the cosmetically it's not that uh, good proximal matrix it not acceptable prepucial extra skin on the prepuce this is also uh, doesn't look nice penoscrotal transposition the part of uh, penile skin is taken up by the scrotal skin so the scrot scrotal skin goes upward and occupies the uh, i mean uh, sides of the penis split scrotum like i mean this one normally the scrotum is closed or uh, the two half of the scrotum they unite with each other and make a median raphe but here the two parts are split so these are the norm more in our society more it is the functional i mean uh, indication than the cosmetic but in the, co uh, the in the western society cosmetic indications also play a part general principles of hypospadias repair repair should be done before the age of 2 and the all the stages of repair should be completed before school going age and the normal principles of repair are arthroplasty urethroplasty metoplasty and glenuloplasty arthroplasty is the straightening of the penis the ventral cuff is repaired urethroplasty is the making a new urethra the deficient urethra metoplasty is making a normal shaped external matrix and glenuloplasty is making a uh, um, a normal shaped gland objectives of hypospadias repair penis should be straight urethra neo urethra should be of uniform caliber and of adequate length the external matrix should be slit like the glands should be symmetrical the steam should be projectile and the ejaculation and erection should be normal type of surgery if the hypospadias is distal the magpie repair snootgrass snootgrass repair and the methy repair are usually done if the uh, hypospadias is uh, proximal various uh, techniques are done like braca's repair 
inlay or onlay grafts are uh, put in or sometimes skin flaps are also uh, applied. Complications of repair urethrocutaneous fistula, metal stenosis, stricture of neourethra, disruption of neourethra, diverticulum formation, and BXO, balanitis erotica obliterans. Like this one, here the uh, I mean, uh, there is uh, I mean, urethroplasty was done, but now the external matrix is here that there is distal disruption of the neourethra. So, this is one of the complications and sometime whole of the neourethra gets disrupted like in this one. It was uh, I mean uh, tube was made or the urethra was made, but whole of the now uh, the external matrix is here and one of the matrix is here urine comes out from this one. So, this the whole of the urethra has been disrupted. This may be due to faulty technique or due to uh, local infection or due, due to uh, tight skin will lead to avascular flaps, multiple reasons. So, the take home message for hypospadias repair is, is a very delicate surgery, requires lot of experience and dedication, results of repair are 70, 80 percent should be done by an experienced surgeon. I just want to quote, I have quoted many times when I was a med, med, uh, uh, I'm a medical student uh, in early 80s. In the book Bailey and Love, the word written was uh, in hypospadias repair that it should be done by an experienced surgeon. In early 90s, when I was doing uh, my masters in urology, uh, the same book said it should be done by an experienced urology and couple of days I was uh, uh, looking into the chapter while preparing my talk the word written is it, it should be done by a, a pediatric urologist not a urologist as I, I have already uh, I mean uh, discussed in my first lecture that in Pakistan, we are still stuck up with establishing urology from general surgery, but in advanced countries, there are seven subspecialties of urology and pediatric urology is one of them. So, we are convinced that it should be done here by an experienced urologist who is doing lot of hypospadia surgery. Now, a few words about the epispadias. It is a rare type of congenital anomaly of the penis where urethra opens on the dorsum of the penis. There is dorsal cardia or dorsal bending like this one. It is going towards the abdomen, it is bent towards the abdomen and this is the external matrix and look the shape of the glands. It can also develop in females, incidence is 1 in 120,000 males and 1 in 150,000 females, very rare as compared to hypospadias. This is the normal urethra and this is the hypospadias, urethra is opening on the under surface and this is in the epispadias, the, uh, the urethra opens on the dorsum. So, there are three types, glandular, penile and pen penopubic. In glandular, like this one, only the glands is disrupted or disformed, patients are always continent. In case of penile, when the external matrix is somewhere on the penis, there are 50 percent chance that the child would be continent, 50 percent child would be incontinent. In penopubic, like this one, I mean the whole of the penile urethra is open that incontinence is almost 100 percent. Diagnosis is made by physical examination just looking on to, to the child and sometime imaging techniques like x-ray and x-CT pelvis are required. So, surgical main management aim is to reconstruct the urethra, correct the cardi and treat the continence. Routinely two methods are performed modified Cantwell Ransley repair 
and Mitchell repair. There are different techniques, very difficult techniques, but you should uh, remember, I think, only the name of the techniques. And this is how this was uh, mid penile epispadias. The cordy has been corrected, and the neourethra has been formed, and the glance has been repaired very efficiently. And this is the comparison of the hypospadias with epispadias. In hypospadias, urethral opening under the penis or on the perineum. In epispadias, urethral opening on top of the penis, on the dorsum of the penis. In hypospadias, urethral opening inside the vagina in females. In females, epispadias, urethral opening above the clitoris. Just remember. It's a congenital anomaly, hypospadias is also a congenital anomaly and both need surgical repair. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. God bless you all. Thank you.